right now i am talking about here forms personalizations okay so we can alter the form by using this feature alternatively we have custom pll custom dot pll it's a program link library okay uh, compared to custom pll form personalization is advantageous the reason is we can do everything in the from application only okay you no need to download anything so simply if i want to go to here in the user defined form everyone is aware that's why i'm taking an example if i, if I want to hide this field uh, right now it is gray more right we can make it yellow color and then we can decrease the width like this right now the width of this date is very less right here also we can decrease it so we can change the we can alter the form we can say and we can disable the button okay we can populate the default value like this so everything we can do that's called as a forms personalization form personalization means altering form like property changes like height width color everything so first we'll see hiding fields one more property changes hiding fields we'll see it's a very simple requirement many cases we need to hide the fields from a form okay so to hide the form you can first go to system administrator then there is a security you are aware with this form that's why i'm teaching this otherwise i can take another example also right now i would like to hide this entire field person followed by this text box also i need to hide go to diagnostics same navigation whatever the form across our class okay so this is the one personalize okay then whatever the fields if it is disturbing you you can enable disable also okay right now i would like to hide the field you can give any sequence in the same sequence it will fire hide person field okay so when it has to fire that when it has to make effect while opening this form so that is case when new form instance so block means here header block condition block action block like that block means one portion we can say record means whatever you are seeing this is entire is called as a record okay and the item item is one specific field validate record so whenever you are entering purchase order price whether you are ent entering any negative or not entering so those kind of thing is called as a validate we are validating a field here and there are so many menus here menus you can see in this menu right now only two menus option is there we can add up so there are around 45 menus are there these are all special menus special menus means you can in insert this attachment and you can insert folder or anything these are all special menus okay now i am using here when new form instance only when new form instance means while opening this security is a defined form it has to make it affect okay block means what it is header block so this is another block okay this is a header block and this is another block in the form terminology so go to actions here the first property so there are various options here types like if you want to pop up a message message we can take or if you want to call any function or any program or any built-ins urls we can go with the built-ins or if you are creating any menus you can use a menu but right now we are changing the property property of a field property of a field means hiding the field here click on property then there are various options here block name tab pages see this is one direct responsibility is one tab indirect is another tab like these are all the tabs okay so you need to see like what is your requirement exactly right now we are talking about only item item is a field we can say and if you are changing lov we can go with the lov so we'll use all okay so right now item 
target object on which object you are targeting person object customer these are all objects supplier whatever you are saying okay if you click on this LOV, it will show all now see exactly here okay you are under which skin see users correct this user users dot supplier name is this one users dot email is this one okay right now what i wanted here is users dot see this prompt you have to see person correct this person select this now right now what is the prompt here it is showing as a person so this field if you want to enable or disable okay, there is a enable field option is there enable okay so this field is displayed field yes. yeah displayed option you can use calls just reopen then all it will appear okay we can't see yeah, it is disabled. In the same way, if you want to hide this fax field, then you can go to diagnostics, personalize. Um, I need to add another one here. Or in the same also, we can do multi changes like another property. Okay. Another property is item. Then fax, you can check here. This fax option. And the same way. So there are other properties here, like we can check item is valid label changes then anything like required field we can make yellow color or anything then if you want to get the value of it already stored we can use value and we can change the width here so based on requirement you can go so right now it is displayed then you can use here false so click on save, then close this. You, whenever you open it, it will fire that. And we can make this user only. For other user, it will be as it is, okay? So for example, I'm making the changes to make it affect to one particular user, not all the users, okay? I'm using user here, username is operations. This is a user, then save. I, again, I'll show you. We can make it work to only certain users. That is called as a context. You can see there are four areas here. So this is rules area, this one. And this is condition area. And this one is action area, okay? And one more here is context. So there are four areas, rules, conditions, context, and actions, okay? In the context area, what we can do, we can restrict this change to be effect on one particular user or one particular responsibility, okay? Only for that responsibility, only it has to work. The next is site means, obviously, if you, if you make any changes, it applies to every user present in the Oracle applications. Site is a least priority. And then you can use a user if you want to restrict any changes. Industry, I'm not sure. Industry, all the industries are there here. Yeah, okay. If, you're, if your client is having many businesses like travel business or any other aerospace, engineering, uh, as of now, I have not used. I've used these three regularly. Okay. So you can enter the any user if you want to restrict this particular personalization. User. Yes, or no, you can make multiple users. See, there's another user like that. You can keep adding the users. Okay. Responsibilities like your, your purchasing vision or any order management like that. Multiple. multiple we can do. See, see here. No, as another row we have to do. So here, single value only because this LOV will have only single value like this so if it is just having one responsibility if you need another responsibility then what you have to do another row another row we need to add okay 
one example is over uh, navigation here is diagnostics custom code personalize this is the navigation we can switch off the personalization also okay this custom code and all we can make it off or we can disable enable if you feel it is disturbing others practice uh, thing disturbing here you can uncheck it okay there is enable disable uncheck this Close. Are you okay with this?